Cameron Chai here from azonano.com, bringing you another episode of azonano.com TV. Today I'm speaking to Dave Lewis, who's the VP of Sales and Marketing for Nanonics Imaging, and he's going to be telling us about their multi-view AFM ramen. So what we have here is our multi-view series, and this is a series of different scanning probe microscope systems which are optically open meaning they can, they're completely exposed from the top and from the bottom, and this is true for the whole series. And what we have here is our single probe SPM system, and what we have here is our multi-probe. And each one of these towers is an independent AFM system, and we can have here up to four different towers working together. Now, because the system is so optically transparent, we designed it in a way that it could be integrated into any optical system. And 10 years ago, we introduced the first commercial AFM Raman series with a company in the UK called Rennie Shaw. And since then, we've expanded to work with other, AF, with other Raman companies, such as uh, Horiba JY and other companies. Um, and today, we offer uh, the ability to either upgrade your existing Raman system or to buy a complete AFM Raman series system. And so one particular advantage about the system is that the feedback mechanism which we have here is tuning fork. And what that allows us over here is several advantages. One is that there's no uh, feedback laser. And because of that, there's, a, there's no signal which we're seeing in the Raman, there's no interference signal from the feedback laser within the Raman signals. But equally important, there's no coupling between the Raman laser and the optical microscope which is connected to the Raman system. And that allows us to easily move between different lasers and there's um, an ability to be completely uh, disconnected from the Raman system. Another important uh, advantage over here is that the tuning fork has a very, very small size. So it has a very small working distance, which means we can actually work with a water immersion objective with the system. So it's an ideal bio-AFM bio for integration with Raman. So if you're interested in doing um, samples like cells, which would be in a liquid medium, the ability to work with a water immersion objective inside um, inside, inside, the, inside a liquid cell is an ideal, um, is an ideal advantage for these systems. Um, and the one, the one last point I would say about the, the tuning fork is that the tuning fork has, uh, they're very they allow you to work with very stiff cantilevers but have very high Q, which gives you the ability to have very sensitive measurements without known problems in AFM like jump to contact, and you can do very good uh, force measurements and adhesion measurements with these kind of probes. So from uh, an AFM perspective, it's really an exceptional direction, uh, and a lot of people are starting to employ that today. And the reason people are interested in buying such systems are they are interested in understanding the correlation between chemical structure and topography. So if you're looking at, let's say, a, um, a cardi uh, cardiac stent, and you want to see what the drug distribution is on that cardiac stent and you want to see how evenly it's distributed. Or let's say you want to look at a contact lens and you want to look at and see how the, how the coating on the contact lens is evenly distributed. So these are the type of systems you would use to do that. Another area which has become very exciting and intense is the area of tip enhanced Raman. And our customers started publishing papers about 10 years ago when, uh, when the first commercial systems came out in the area of tip enhanced Raman and we have several papers uh, done with these systems and what's very unique about these systems for working in tip enhanced Raman uh, configuration is that you can in, in order to do good tip enhanced Raman the critical issue is really to find the best position between the probe and the incident Raman laser light. And what, what people have discovered is that it's not just being anywhere randomly in that laser beam, but the, the terse probe needs to be somewhere off axis. And we make exceptionally good um, terse probes which have a gold ball at the end. And these, ha these show very good uh, enhancement. But it's not enough just to have a good probe. You need to be able to actually find the right position for it. So all these systems, the Multiview 4000 and the Multiview 2000 are uh, tip and sample scanning systems. So you can move the tip to find the best, the best position for en tip enhancement. Then you hold that position and then you can scan the sample and get a uh, combined AFM Raman. 
And what we're seeing over here is a combination of the system with the Renishaw system in the picture behind. And we're seeing another picture with the JY Explorer. Um, and so and we, have, uh, we have many of these systems which are installed uh, across the world with these uh, two different systems and other Raman systems as well. Um, and so people are, so the area of tip-enhanced Raman is an area where people are focusing today, uh, an area where there's a lot of uh, work being done and, and this system allows you to do it very easily and with a lot of um, with a lot of ease of use and also with uh, a great focus on getting the results done quickly. And uh, your systems, do they take much user training before people can develop, uh, derive quality results? Well, you know, I think uh, AFM and Raman systems are systems which do demand some level of training, but the systems are designed to, to work well for the customers and they're designed to work well for the application. It's not an AFM which is trying to be forced into being an AFM Raman, but it's an AFM which was designed from the ground up to work as an AFM Raman. And that, flex, that um, you know, initial direction has made the system a much, uh, a much more user-friendly system for those applications because it's ideally designed for those applications. So it has all the protocols and all the uh, ability to quickly get you in that direction. So as opposed to other AFMs which are trying to be connected with uh, Raman, but they're actually just designed to be an AFM, you have to work in a much more convoluted way in order to actually get the results that you want. So from that perspective, I think that it's actually a very user-friendly system. And we see our people, you know, once they have um, a week of training from the Raman side and a week of training from the AFM side, which we, off, which we give with the system, they're up and running. All right then, David, if anybody wants more information about your, your multi-view system, they can obviously go to your website. And that, that would be www.nanonics.co.il. All right, David, thanks very much for telling us about the multi-view AFM Raman. Thank you very much.